debating on whether or not to wear this. Is this too extra? Are we too much right now or just enough? Today, I thought I would just give love to my expensive shit. Like this video if you would like a an expensive, affordable version of this video because there are definitely a lot of great items that I love that are from the drugstore or from really inexpensive stores. I calculated up these 10 items and they are over a thousand dollars worth of things. So here we go, my top 10 summer faves that are over a thousand dollars when you put them together. Let's start with a little bit of highlighter in our lives. My favorite for summer that are just so much fun are the new Becca light chasers and Becca's already expensive for highlighter. It's $34 for one of their big full size, say champagne pop highlighters. These guys are about half the size of a normal highlighter, but they're the same price, which in my mind makes them very expensive, but they're so beautiful, I feel like they're worth the price tag. I have the entire collection, but my two favorites, one of them I'm wearing on my collarbone, look at that, which is Opal Flashes Jade. Oh, hello. It's the perfect kind of like mermaid, it's a little maroon, and then also blue, which is just so cool and different. The other one I really love is the Topaz Flashes Gilt. So it's like almost like an olive green to gold type situation. Next up, retailing at $59 is the NARS Bronzing Oil. I do have to admit, there are a lot of great bronzing, adding shimmer for the day type thing. I know Sally Hansen makes an awesome leg one. Why I love this one, and I think it's worth the high price tag, is it adds a beautiful shimmer. It's not it's not like a crazy type bronze situation, but you get a glow, but it's really hydrating. It smells like coconut and pina colada and tanning oil. It just smells like summer. And the trifecta of the glow, hydration, and scent is something I haven't found in, say, the Sally Hansen spray-on leg tan makeup. You can, of course, add, I don't know, perfume and get the same job done, but I don't know, it's just, it's so good. It's really expensive though. It also looks really good in pictures, really good. Diving in into a little bit of skincare, I have been loving the Milk Makeup Matcha Toner. It is the first ever, at least I have heard of, a stick toner. I've had the liquid kind that you put on with the cotton ball, which I never end up using because I hate cotton balls. This is a little balm that, I mean, you're not gonna see anything, but it feels cooling and hydrating and just, it's the only toner that I ended up using and sticking to. As I said, I'm just not a fan of the liquid ones or the spray-on ones as a toner. I kind of use them sometimes as like hydrating setting spray. The Milk Makeup Toner retails for I think $29, so pretty much 30 bucks. This one's just so great for summer because it's cooling and it's travel friendly. The entire line of the matcha was all made to be TSA friendly, take on a plane. Unfortunately, I don't like any of the matcha cleanser or hydrating oil. Wasn't my jam. The toner is the only one I like out of the entire collection. Probably only use the other ones for travel, but that's what makes it good and worth the price tag in my ass. Let's talk about what I'm wearing. I don't think I mentioned that I'm in pajamas. Felt like I'd be a little chill, a little relaxed in this video, but these are another one of my luxury favorites. In the set, there is a matching, yes, eye mask. This whole shebang is the Counting Stars collection from Clo Room. I am obsessed. It is very high quality, 100% mulberry silk and you might be asking yourself why in the world do I need luxury pajamas well first off it's really nice as you get to be an adult to have something to sleep in that actually isn't like a ripped up old shirt if you know what I mean which is my other collection of pajamas and also this is something I learned when I was in fashion class in college that natural fibers such as silk wool, cotton, hemp. They are better for your skin. They are more breathable. You can battle cold and heat better. And when you're looking at something like acrylic, rayon, spandex, which is a lot cheaper to produce and it's the majority of what you're gonna find at Zara, H&M, Forever 21, it's not gonna be as comfortable. It's not gonna be as long lasting. And the only reason we have these artificial fibers is for mass production 
and obviously it's cheaper, but it's not as good for you as an investment or for just wearing in general. So if you're looking to get a complete set, matching top bottom robe and eye mask, you could be spending somewhere between $300 and $500. It gets to be 120 where I live, so it's really important for me to have something that's gonna be long lasting and breathable when I sleep and I don't wake up in a puddle of sweat. That's why to me, it is worth the high price tag. Back at it with the skincare, I have been loving this Kiehl's, can't say this word, Canadula, and Aloe Soothing Hydration Mask. I personally have very, very dry skin, so I'm always looking for something that's hydrating, especially when it's summer, I'll get burned, which is why I love this one for the aloe. It's actually soothing when you have a sunburn, but it's also hydrating. The one I love right under this, which is also a splurge, is the Glam Glow Mask in the blue tub. I just don't love it as much for summer as I do for winter. The good news is you get double the amount for less money compared to the Glam Glow. I think the Glam Glow mask is 60 and you get like 1.7 fluid ounces. I'm doing this all from memory. This one is 3.4 fluid ounces and it's $45. So even though it's a splurge, you're still kind of saving money. That's what you tell yourself, right? That's what you tell yourself when you realize where all your money goes. I'm gonna talk about the next one fairly quickly because I can't really swatch it. It's not too exciting to look at, but it is really worth the high price tag. I am talking about the NARS base and top coat. This will last three times longer. So normally it takes about two days for a nail polish to chip. I had solid unchipped polish with washing my hands multiple times a day, deep cleaning my apartment. I had it last for six days and I don't feel like anybody ever talks about this. So they go for $20 a pop, so it's 40 bucks for the set. Definitely a higher end, but I've used Essie, OPI, Ceviche, 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 Ceviche. That one, I swear to God, you will not regret picking up the base and top coat, $40, because I don't. Summer is a time to travel. It's a time to be out all day at the beach then go out at night. It's a time to sleep over at friends' houses. And that's why I wanted to share with you my favorite palette for creating the perfect natural look. I have it on my face now. And you can get contour, highlight, bronze, and eyes all in one. I'm talking about the Kevin Akon, I'm reading the back, the Contour Book Volume 2, The Art of Sculpting and Defining. This bad boy retails for $65, which makes it a luxury item in my eyes but you get some of my favorite items in the world. I do have to say I hate the packaging because you get a little chart that is great if you're a beginner, but you can't take it out. Makes it a little bit excessive. You know, I kind of just want this stuff, but the products inside are that amazing that I don't care. In the palette comes my favorite natural highlighter, which is the candlelight powder. I have the full size of this. My least favorite thing in this palette is the candlelight cream. It just, it doesn't do that much for me. I feel like it's a little greasy. Everything else I love. The sculpting cream is more so like a balm. I haven't used the Kim Kardashian little sculpting sticks. I haven't seen it, I haven't swatched it, but what I have seen from videos, I think this is a great dupe. Then you get the perfect sculpting powder. You get two shimmer eyeshadows. I have starlight on my eyes right now. Then Brighton is this beautiful, ooh. But the two eyeshadows that I use the most are Cool Tan and Ruddy Earth. They are the perfect crease, they're super blendable, and every time I wear these eyeshadows, legitimately, the global director of NARS complimented my eyeshadow. And all I had were those two colors. So I think they're pretty good. I have fallen in love with the Dior Lip Addict. I don't know if there's different shades. I Maybe I have the pink one, 001. And it is $33, which is excessive for a thing you won't really notice, but it does give the most beautiful pink sheen, the most natural summer look, the best hydration. It like, it doesn't plump, but the way that it kind of like hydrates, it makes things just look fuller and more alive and like you have collagen and you're 15 again or you're still 15, I don't know how old you are. The next item is the, I think, yeah, it's the most expensive item. It was 
$400 and that is a lot of money, but I justify it by only buying one purse every year or every other year. I legitimately like don't buy purses unless I really, really love them and I make sure there's a big gap of time. And if I wanna splurge, I'm gonna splurge because I'm gonna have it forever and I'm gonna wear it like almost every day. I know people say you should buy something classic for a bag that you can mix and match with everything and that won't go out of style, which is great. I think you do need one, but I like to have fun with my bags and I wanted a statement piece that was really crazy and I went to Neiman and I saw this guy. This is the Marc Jacobs Spotted Snapshot. Bag. This is the Marc Jacobs Spotted Snapshot camera bag. That was a lot to say. My favorite part about the bag is a little weird. Everyone always comments on it and they're like, is that a guitar strap? Yes. Yes, it is. The cool thing is, it's if you want to change up the bag, you want to mix things up, you're a little over it, you can buy all the different straps from all different purses. I think they're about $85, so they are expensive. You can also put them on any other bag if you want. I think items like that, that you can pass down to your kids, that you can wear again in 20, 30 years, and it's not gonna have fallen apart makes it worth the splurge. The last item for summer that I would like to give some love to, first off, I would just like to say that for the skin, I think I mentioned this in my last video or two videos ago, that I've been really loving kind of skipping or going really minimal on the foundation and then just spot concealing. And I've been looking for the perfect concealer to do that because there's different concealers that I like for different parts of my face. Around my nose, I need something really heavy because it's really red, but it's also really dry. Under my eyes, I get crease and cracking, but I also want to brighten. While for my breakouts, I really need something that's gonna be matte and heavy, but not drying because my breakouts tend to be flaky. And thus is why for breakouts, I have fallen in love with the NARS Soft Matte Concealer. I didn't know that this existed until about two weeks ago and I have used it every single day since. If you think the MAC Studio Fix Little Pot Concealer is too drying, but you like the coverage of it, you will love this. Let's get these ears back on for the outro. And that wraps it up for all of my luxury high-end favorites that I feel like are worth the price, at least for me. Of course, everybody has different skin, different style. So I would love if you could leave in the comments what are your summer luxury or why not drugstore inexpensive favorites in the comments down below. Subscribe if you are not already. Like this video if you want the drugstore affordable version of this because I could definitely do that. I got some good things for that guy. If you have any questions about the video, make sure to check the video description. I will link to everything. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!